Well, all of this, friends, was purchased for $9, and I will be sharing my haul with you. Well, hi, friends. I am sharing a $9 haul with you today, a massive haul of vintage wares, clothing, home decor, little kids' books. I went to a charity rummage recently with my girls, and we found some great bargains. So it's fill a bag for $4 or 50 cents an item. I tried to film a little bit, but I went on a day that people had off of work, a holiday I believe, and it was before a snowstorm was coming, and so I think people just were wanting to get out. It was packed, it was so packed. I've never been to it before with it that packed, and so um, having my two little toddlers with me that had to walk next to me trying to film a little bit I just decided to nix that I got a little bit of footage that I can incorporate here and there But I just thought this would be more of a haul for you So I'm gonna start with the vintage wares pieces and home decor and then get into the other items that I found So first off baskets this was 50 cents because it didn't fit in a bag but I thought this would be cute for a trash can in our bathroom remodel when it is done. It's pretty small, but if you put a bag in there, I think that would work well. And also work as a trash can for uh, my girls' room or just an extra area to have a trash can. But it's a little bit darker of a wicker and it is a tad dusty and dirty, but that it is finding thrifted it is <laughs> dirty and dusty. All right, this is a beautiful floral pillow. I don't hesitate to buy pillows at thrift stores. It's um, Williamsburg brand. It has just different florals on it. I thought this would be great for spring. I think it says strawberry with, I can't always see it, oval spear shaped leaves and oval fruit. Like it just explains the different floral leaves and what they are, but this is really pretty pillow would look good on our bed. Maybe if I mix in some pinks for spring here in my living area, I thought this would be adorable. And it was 50 cents as well because I did not fit this in a bag. There was a huge array of crochet, knitwork, things like that. So this one is round. It's a lot looser. And you've seen me pick these up before because they do sell well in my antique booth that I have. I have more vintage pieces in my antique booth. But I thought this would be a fun um, change to put in there. And so this went in the $4 bag. And then I picked up one more. Just a very nice crisp white doily to have um, or put in my booth as well. Alright, I've been debating on doing some little curtains in my kitchen instead of blinds. We do have hard, nice blinds in our home all around, and I really like them. I don't do curtains in my living area. I'm sure you've all seen that. I just really like the openness of the light, and I love our trim work around our windows. But in the kitchen, I've been debating on putting something up, um, like a cottage-style window treatment. I found these. They're blue and white with some lacy pattern on the bottom. I think they are store-bought because it has a tag. But I was like, oh, this is really cute anyways. So I got two of these to throw in my bag for $4. And that blue and white is so perfect for springtime. And I didn't have to sew or stitch it. So we'll see. There's no... I need to wash it because there's a teeny bit of staining. But, you know, over my sink, it's probably going to get stained anyways. But I think this would be just so adorable above my kitchen window. All right, a couple pieces of art I picked up. This pastel piece just really caught my eye. I really liked the pinks, the blues, just the, I think it's like watercolor, but I just thought that was beautiful. Not sure where I'm going to put it, but I did get my gallery wall made of my um, family. So I have like five pictures up there so I don't know where I'm gonna put this exactly but it's just a beautiful piece of art and I couldn't pass that up okay this one I wasn't sure on because it's kind of my style but it's also kind of granny style I don't know what you'd say 
but it just the oval caught my eye um with the little cottage or large cottage with the water in the front and the daisies i don't know i'm not sure about it what i'll do with it it's just really pretty and when you fill a bag for four dollars at this point this is when i kind of throw out the window my keep to the list idea because i know i can put this in my antique booth or i can just have a garage sale donate it and i don't feel so bad because everything i've filled two bags for eight dollars plus those extras so this is when when i see something i like it's a very packed place it's hard to actually like debate i might just put it in my bag but it is very pretty so i'm not sure what i'll do with it yet if you have ideas on where i could put it let me know all right then i found some dishes this one is a green pastoral taylor and smith is that what it says i think this is a green plate like a for a teacup i have one in my booth already like the teacup that so i might add this to it it's got some pretty detailing on the side it's a man plowing his farm i just thought that was really fun and i could add it to go with that in my booth and then there were stacks and stacks of plates. Not sure if they were all vintage. Some were um, fine china. This one is very worn. I don't know why I like the worn look, but I kind of like the dirty <laughs> old look. There's no markings on the back, but I thought, oh, that's kind of cute to have. I might put it in my antique booth. I might use it to put my soap on in my kitchen. I'm not sure. Then I found this beautiful picture. Again, no markings, so I'm not sure why I'm not finding markings, but it's got the floral on the front. It also has a little leaf there on the top. It's got that detail. It's very English cottage style. It also came with like a tea ball diffuser. So I don't know if this is actually supposed to be in it, but you know, it's there. So a glass little tea ball diffuser was in here so it just came with it I think it belonged somewhere else but someone had put it in there so just a beautiful English cottage style picture with some speckles on it cream color all right then finally for dishes this plate is semi porcelain Wedgwood and Co England so it's got that beautiful floral detailing definitely has that old worn look to it because it's got staining on the edges staining on the top so I don't know it's got like a gold ring around the outside or silver this time um that's worn off but and this one I haven't really seen this shape as much before I usually see the oval not the rectangular shape so this might go in my booth. This might be used in my home. Um, I have quite a few plates already, so this one might be one I just stick in my booth. But that's the housewares decor. So I'm just gonna quickly show you some clothing pieces here. It's hard to find toddler clothes when that aisle is packed too, but my little two, almost two year old, well, one and, one and a quarter, one and three fourths year old, Needs a few more long sleeve shirts. So I just found this one that will hopefully fit and one more. I think this is Old Navy brand. This is actually a 3T, but it looks very small. So I got a couple of those. Then I found my husband a couple of shirts actually because he'd been needing some new extra shirts. This is a Morona. It's actually an extra large and he usually doesn't wear extra large. I don't know if these will work, but again, it's put stuff in a bag for $4. So again, that's to the point of if it doesn't work, I don't feel so bad. So, not the little three buttons there, gray. You can wear that to work or around. And then one more. This is open trails. And this one might be a little small. It looks a little small. This might fit me now for maternity. But it's uh, gray and white striped. But I do believe this is going to be a little small for him now that I look at it. Yeah, that one might be more for me right now. And then I got two shirts for myself. One maternity floral, um, full moon maternity it says. I thought this would be nice for when it starts warming up a little bit, that pretty floral pattern. And then this is more of like a workout tank top. I don't even know the brand. I just thought that would be nice 
this isn't maternity either for um, when it warms up a little bit because I'm not due till May but in April and May we can get in the upper 70s we've had 90s before in May too so um, I don't remember what brand has the little like circle marking there on the side but those are the clothes and then a few books I got I'll just list a couple I got a Berenstain Bears Say Our Prayers book for our girls um, I got a Barnyard Dance book for the girls to read and then I think I got one more oh, a Curious George book so just some fun little um, young toddler age books as well but all of this for oh one more thing I bought this stack of sippy cups because my mother doesn't have anything for little kids to drink from when we go and visit so I thought that'd be nice to have for her to have a few of these and these ones are the best for not getting moldy like any other to-go cup with a straw a travel mug they get moldy so fast so these get cleaned up really nicely so I threw that in a bag but that is my haul and not really much of footage for thrifting with me I was able to look at a lot of the pieces of um, linens and bedding and I didn't look through a lot of clothes it just wasn't worth it with my stage of pregnancy I don't need a lot of new clothes the girls don't need a lot um, there were just some fun vintage pieces to find in this charity rummage so hope you enjoyed give it a thumbs up if you do and I will look forward to talking with you in my next video